In this video, we will show how uh, changing uh, flow rate will uh, change the peak pressure and the uh, plateau time. So, in this uh, patient who is uh, mechanically ventilated, is on uh, volume controlled uh, mode of ventilation, and we are targeting 500 uh, tidal volume, and this will be delivered uh, with a flow rate of 30 liters per minute. So the flow will go up to 30 liters and will uh, stay at 30 liters for the duration of the inspiratory flow time. Uh, we set the cycling mechanism as time and the inspiratory time here is 1.5 seconds, meaning that uh, inspiration will last for a total of 1.5 seconds. Now when this breath is delivered, you can see that with a flow of 30 liters per minute, the 500 tidal volume will be delivered in only one second. However, the inspiratory time is not finished yet. The inspiratory time is set at 1.5 seconds. So the remaining time, which is 0.5 seconds, will be a plateau time. The plateau phase here indicates that the volume is in the lungs already and the flow is zero. In, the, in order to keep that volume inside the lung, the pressure needs to be applied to overcome the lungs and chest wall elastins. And this is the plateau pressure. Now we need to see what will happen if we change that flow rate. So I'm going to increase the flow rate from 30 liters to 60 liters. So I'm going to double the flow rate and see what happened. So let's freeze it here and notice the difference between the first breath and the second breath. So what you see here is the flow rate was 30 liters per minute and now it's increased to 60 liters per minute. At a flow rate of 60 liters per minute, the half liter or the 500 ml of tidal volume is now delivered in 0.5 seconds. And since the inspiratory time is 1.5 seconds, so the remaining time of inspiration, which is one second, is now a plateau time. So the plateau phase here is prolonged from 0.5 seconds to one second. At the same time, notice that the peak pressure is increased. And the peak pressure is increased because of the airway pressure that is increased. And remember, the pressure needed to be uh, applied on the ventilator circuit is equivalent to the flow multiplied by the resistance plus tidal volume divided by compliance. And this is the equation of motion. So the higher the flow, the higher the air pressure required to get that air inside the lung. So in summary, increasing the flow will uh, increase the airway pressure and will decrease the inspiratory flow time and will result into increased plateau time if the cycling mechanism is one point is uh, time and in this case here is 1.5 seconds <clears throat> now let's see what happens when we decrease the flow rate so we're going to go down now to a flow rate of 30 again and then compare with the lower flow rate. So this is a rate of 30 per minute, and this is back to the baseline. Now, what I will do is, I will decrease this flow rate to 20 liters per minute and see what happens. <clears throat> now at 20 liters per minute, it will, it will require longer time to deliver that 500 tidal volume. 
In fact, it takes 1.5 seconds. That's, that's why the plateau is eliminated completely. So we don't see plateau time anymore because we are utilizing the whole inspiratory time to deliver that 500N at a rate of 20 liters per minute. So decreasing the flow rate will decrease the uh, airway pressure. Notice the airway pressure that is decreased compared to the previous one. According to the same equation of motion, the lower the flow, the lower the pressure required to get that volume in. And will uh, decrease or maybe eliminate the plateau time completely. Thank you very much.